The start date is 69487 and the days of the olds are over. James T. Kirk does wonder in another world serving high horses and all the others do as well. But the relics of the Enterprise live on, in a museum of course, and exactly there is where a small group of, let's say, enthusiasts decided to step inside and take one of the many shuttles for a spin. Yes, they nicked the Galileo! Sure, we won't name these Romulanian, Vulcan and even human heroes here since they may or may not be able to maneuver the Galileo properly and avoid crashing into an asteroid or something, so stay tuned. In the meantime, let's have a look at the little shuttle with the iconic appearance which was brought to life in a land of the rising sun and which the high class feel of B B. Yes, dear brick builders, as you might know now, we are talking about the Brew Bricks 104181, the USS Enterprise Class F shuttlecraft named Galileo with 493 pieces. And of course there are no figurines, since there's somebody who doesn't like Blue Bricks to have some. Therefore there are no stickers and this shuttle of course is part of the first wave that Blue Bricks brought out in the Star Trek franchise since they got the license at least for Europe for this set. Looking at the box, there's nothing really new or exciting there. There is the styling from the licensee and on the back there is the set and all the pieces of the set, including the big tiles, the big printed tiles that show the data of this set. So let's look at the instructions. It's a Blue Pro set, which means mostly that it's done by Xing Bao, and that's also part with the instructions here. So you get two sections, each section is named separately. Each step that is done is grayed out. You get your sub assemblies, you get your arrows, and it's not really rocket science to put this thing together. In total we got 40 pages in this instruction set. And after that we got even a parts list. Also showing that there is a lot of prints in this set. So let's have a look at the set itself. The main big point and that is what we see at the moment are the skits here. They are constructed very very different. And also the door is a bit of interest here. It looks like the thing in the real deal, of course, but it's not really a hinged door. It just stands up on a stud, so it can be taken out and put back together. And as I've said, all that what you've seen here are prints, partly prints that spawn more than one tire, partly prints that are big and visible, some others are more like hidden and most important and the biggest play feature here of course is the opening box that can be opened and closed again. On the other side there are more prints who are thoughted and most important the Galileo prints so we know how this ship is called. And to really hammer it home, on the front we have another Galileo there, so we know what the ship is called. And below that all important Galileo, there is the USS Enterprise tag there. For everybody who doesn't know that Blue Bricks has the official license for those sets in Europe, so they can sell those legally. Opening the roof, you'll find our bunch here smashing around in space, having a laugh, having a bit of a journey there. And we do have another bunch of prints here. Here, mainly in the cockpit, mainly as a radar thing and we do have tired floors at least partially and we do have 8 seats that can be turned. So we also got 8 turntables. 
And here we got the main problem of the set again, the skits. Those are looking a bit like a banana, yes I know. There is axles inside of those round bricks, but they are not enough, or they are not long enough. There should be just one axle and then call it a day, please. Just like Rubix has done this, there are too many short axles in there and these pieces do have a problem of bending and falling out of each other. Partly due to that there's a long long stick there made from those round tiles and partly by fixating them to the vehicle. This is not standard, it is not really standard and it doesn't really work too well as we can see. The other big thing with the set is that you never really know where to press to put something together because most of the time you will press something out as well when you close something else. Here we're gonna remove the door. It is situated on one stud. You can put it out and put it in again and that's exactly what we're doing now. So call it a Closing the ship again has its own challenges here. This is again due to string bow and not really really good fitting pieces there. So you have a bit of a wiggle there and you also have a bit of a banana in this roof. So it looks good once it's done. Therefore all the white pieces are really white and it's really the same white for everything. It's also the same black here for the big sign that is used to have another print of the shuttle, the shuttle sign. Here we got the leftover pieces, it's not really something too unusual here. The blue piece in the middle is used by Blue Brick as a tool for single studs. It's not working as well as the Kobe tool, but it does work most of the time. So we've got another seat here and our friends, the round bricks. As per usual with Sing Bao, you get another small box inside the big box here and this is normally on its top lying and this is no different here with Sing Bao. Inside there are two sections with the different stuff in there here. This is a typical Sing Bao arrangement, so nothing really unusual. Just one thing is a bit exceptional, this is the soft baggages for the printed pieces or for some of them. And with that we are already in the building phase. So what do I think of this set? First it looks good. It looks just like the original or at least the Galileo that was featured in the original series. So once again very well in the looks department but the problem starts with the bricks, with the Xingbao brick. They are not really suited for those futuristic and unusual building techniques that the blue bricks designers utilized to get this type of look. Mostly it's again the skids, they tend to fall apart, they are not really suited for the kind of forces that are done on them during the building phase and I guess even if you put the thing on the shelf if you bump it or something they can easily fall apart there so be careful with that to put it clearly with those kind of problems I guess from the whole series or at least from the first wave there this is the most problematic set with the building techniques don't get me wrong this looks beautiful and this looks really like the original but it's so fragile. And in a nutshell that's also everything that can be said about the usage of the set. Yes, it's a display set, it's something for someone who likes Star Trek and likes the original series, likes Captain Kirk. It is not something for children, it's nothing to play with, it's too fragile to do that, it's for your shelf and that's it. Except you want those parts, but they are not too exceptional if you don't count the printed ones. There are a lot of prints in there again, so if you need those parts it's okay to 
get them, they're not too bad if you build something else than a space shuttle. What's really missing in this set of course are the figurines. Yes, we know LEGO doesn't like to have Blue Bricks figurines there and Ching Bao does. So they could use some of their designs to build a Kirk, a Spock, a Gotti and whoever there. So why not? And if you fear to have those figurines stopping the sale of the set it's no big deal since you can simply put an extra figurine package so this is not a problem there you put the figurine in one package and the set in the other one and i guess whoever wants this one will buy the other one too but that's it for today if you liked what you've seen please press the like button if you didn't like what you have seen please comment me that and if you really want to have something like this every week please subscribe so have fun building have fun watching and see you